Hi, I'm Latasha Kaiser, CEO and founder of Pray Vegan Where Food Is Love. And today we're partnering with the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, the Omega Phi Omega chapter for their Pink Goes Red for Heart Health event. Come with us as we cook a delicious vegan meal. So today we're gonna cook a very fast, simple, easy, yet extremely amazingly delicious vegan meal today. What we're gonna do, we're gonna saute some vegetables, we're gonna add a saute protein, and we're gonna put it all over rice with our signature Cray Vegan Kraviyaki sauce. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the item that takes the longest to cook, which is our rice, which is our, which is our rice. So you all have your um, recipe list, so I choose to use a jasmine rice. That's the rice that I prefer. You're more than welcome to use a brown, a basmati, a regular standard white rice if you choose to. Now, unlike many people, they cook rice on the stove, on a rice cooker, I cook mine in the oven. And you will put it in the oven and it cooks with, your, with all your ingredients and it comes out perfect. So today I've already pre-measured all of my ingredients. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my glasses because I'm at that age. Um, we're going to add our rice. I've already pre-measured for myself. Um, the rice. We're gonna just pour that in there. I pre-measured my water and we're gonna pour that in. I also pre-measured my spices and this is what makes Crave Vegan Rice so very yummy. Um, I've added this out. Now let's talk about it. So your pre-measurements for your rice and your water, whatever bag of rice that you purchase, it's gonna either tell you two cups of rice to one cup of water or a half a cup of this versus that. Go ahead and add all of that into your pan. Because um, again, we're going to put this in the oven. I've set my oven for 425. That is a perfect temperature that I have found to cook it on and it will, will work out well. So I added two tablespoons because I have four cups of rice in this pan. Um, I've added four, uh, two tablespoons of my spice. I'm going to add now one tablespoon of uh, sea salt, which is what your instructions tell you to purchase versus table salt. So we go with our sea salt. And then I have my one cup of olive oil or whatever oil you choose to use. We're gonna stir this all in, and then we're gonna get this into the oven. Now, please note, and we'll talk about this once we bring it out of the oven. So we're just gonna all stir it all in now. Once it cooks and we pull it out of the oven, we will let it rest for a moment, then we'll fluff it to make sure that we don't have sections that's too salty or too seasoned versus another section that's too bland. So, in goes, so we're gonna open the oven. We're gonna get this yummy rice. Oh, you guys wanna see it? And we're all seasoned rice, water, oil, spices. So to recap, that was your portion of rice, be it two cups or one cup of rice to one cup of water, all in one pan, add your oil. Um, you're more than welcome to add, let's say, uh, for you, depending upon the portion that you're cooking, maybe a half a cup of oil to, uh, along with uh, one to two tablespoons of your spices, maybe a half a uh, tablespoon of sea salt to one tablespoon of sea salt. So now it's in the oven, it's setting. It's going to bake at 425 for right about 30 minutes because we're going to check that. But in the meantime, we're going to move to the other part of our cooking demonstration, which is now dicing our proteins up. I am gonna grab some gloves for this because you guys have hearts of palm. Now, with the hearts of palm, as we cut them, we're gonna take the center out, so I like to have on a pair of gloves for that. I've already opened my hearts of palm. Your shopping list indicated getting whole hearts of palm. And we're gonna cut these, and we're gonna take that center out and this is what we use to make our vegan calamari. So we're gonna cut these in little sections. And then we're just gonna pop out the middle. See, so we're just gonna have these little round pieces. Uh oh, you don't need those little pieces. They're soft. You can keep them if you like, but they're more, they're softer then the actual outer, I'm gonna take the heart out of there. So you had your can, you drain them, take them out, cut them in sections.
this one, you don't really use the end piece, you can't take the center out, you're more than welcome to if you like. Now we have our protein here. So now we have our bowl of cut hearts of palm with our center out. And we're gonna season these in just a moment, but for now we're gonna add our mushrooms into this. Now you'll notice when you open your, when you purchase your trumpet mushrooms and you clean them, the end piece can be a little tough. So we're just gonna cut that off of there. We're not gonna use it. We're gonna put that in our little veggie scraps because that piece can, it can be hard to chew. And so it's gonna cut in half here. And again, we're just gonna section our pieces off. Now, so now we have a bowl of our hearts of palm and our trumpet mushrooms. And we're gonna add just a small amount of sea salt to this. I have a fourth of a tablespoon, fourth of a teaspoon, excuse me, a fourth of a teaspoon. It's gonna add just a, not even all of it. So I'll probably add it like an eighth at that point. And we have our other spice. So in your instruct, um, your grocery list, I mentioned um, a Creole seasoning just to give this a slight spicy taste. So I'm starting with a half a teaspoon. Now, of course, guys, if you're a person that you don't like spicy food or if you want something um, a bit more savory, you just like the natural taste of the mushroom, then you're more than welcome to not add any spice or seasoning to it at all. So I've added one, a half a teaspoon to our mixture. Now, because I do like a bit of spice, I'm gonna add another, a second, so that'll make it one teaspoon that I've added here. Leave that there. And then the spices that we have, which was a Tuscan, like a savory spice. Yes, I'm adding both. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put it all in there and those flavors are gonna build and it's gonna taste absolutely amazing. But I'm also starting again with a half of a teaspoon to this particular mixture. And a trip, I'm just gonna add just a little bit more. We're just gonna call that a day. So that was, it was a uh, keeping half of a teaspoon that we added there. And we're just gonna let this sit for a moment. So now we've added that and they're all seasoned and they're just gonna sit and rest and kind of absorb that in. We're gonna leave that there. Okay, we have seasoned now our hearts of palm and our trumpet mushrooms. Our rice is now cooking slowly for us and once we're done with all of these steps, it'll be ready for us to pull out and we're going to, when we'll plate our food. Now, at this point, we're going to prep all of the vegetables that we're going to saute to today together. So you should have your um, some sweet bell peppers, red, red and green bell pepper, an onion, zucchini, and eggplant. So we're gonna start with our uh, bell peppers. So we're gonna take the top off. Now guys, we don't want the seeds, okay? So if you choose to want to use all of it and not have any waste, you can, but we do not want the seeds, people. We're just gonna let that go there. There was too many seeds. We don't want the seeds. And it's gonna, we have our little bucket over here for our veggie trash. So put those seeds there because we do not want those. Now, just to make this a little simpler. So if you're cooking for one or two, because this will make amazing leftovers, it will warm well. You can leave them julienne if you like, or for some people you may say, hey, I like peppers, but I do not want those big pieces. Then you can go ahead and you can just chop. It's your choice, because guess what? It's your meal, it's your dish and no one can tell you how to eat your veggies. <laughs> I'm just gonna assist you in making them taste amazing. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and chop those. Okay, so if you're cooking a serving for two, you'll need about half of the bell pepper. Half of the bell pepper, for the red bell pepper for that. Okay, so we're gonna sit this aside we can always use that later. You can place it in a Ziploc bag for later, for tomorrow or later this evening for another dish. We're gonna do the same thing for our green bell pepper. Take that the head off there. If you guys do a compost, you can use your veggie trash for your compost. And we're gonna slice it on the side and we're gonna take out, take out our seeds. 
We don't need those. Okie dokie. Okay, guys, I'm going to do the same thing for our green bell pepper. I'm just going to dice those. But again, remember, if you want them julienned, you're more than welcome to eat them that way. The point at this point is just to have a delicious vegan meal. And so that was about half of that green bell pepper as well, though. Was that a seed that tried to sneak in? Yes, it was. Let me get rid of that one back. Okay, so we're there. We're good there. Now, we're going to get into our onion. Okay, so I have a secret. I wear contact lenses, so guess what? My contacts protect my eyes, and I don't cry. Um, so if you're a uh, contact lens wearer, always cut your onions when you're wearing your lenses. Um, and then I help. So we're taking off all of our veggie trash. I'm just going to peel this. Green on, uh, red onion. And I chose these onions because I have found that the uh, red onion, one, the deeper the pigment of our veggies, more the antioxidants, more nutrition that we receive from them. And I have found that the red onion doesn't give a lot of a sick bounce back. Um, not as, um, doesn't have as much indigestion. So with the onions, I do like to keep my onions just whole. Slice them in half. Uh-oh, I don't want that piece either. And for our meal, this is just about all that we need here for this, for our onions there. So now, because when we start to cook this, we're gonna let all of these flavors come together. Because guess what guys, we're cooking a fast vegan meal that's delicious. I didn't want to showcase something that's gonna take you hours on end to make. This dish, aside from your rice cooking, once you make this, you can literally get this done within 10 to 15 minutes for you and your family. Um, so now we have our starting vegetables. Now we're gonna get into our zucchini. Cut the tip off. You're gonna need about half of that. Cut it in half again. And again, you can julienne these or just dice them all together because some people, for myself, when I get ready to eat, I don't wanna to have to cut my veggies. I want to be able to take my fork and take a spoonful and be ready to eat that way. Um, I just want to sit down after I've done all the work to cook it. I just want to sit and eat it when I have to reach off. Um, so we're just dicing these. And now we have our peppers, we have our onions, and we have our zucchini. And now we're going to grab our eggplant. Same thing, take the tip off. We're only going to need about half of that. We'll probably add a little more, I'll be honest. Okay, so again, deep pigment, high in antioxidants. All the veggies that we've chosen for this dish today are high in um, vitamin D, antioxidants, um, which of course, as we know, helps us fight cancer, help reduce inflammation in our body, um, along with giving us our vitamin A, our vitamin B, our nice, our um, iron. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more, just a smidgen more there. All right, I'm going to take that little brown piece off there. We're not going to use that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so technically, guys, we're done with all of our dicing at this point. We have our bell peppers, our red onions, our green onions, um, our zucchini, and our... Um, eggplant. Now, just since we're dicing, we can get everything done all at one time, and I'm going to put our green onions here. I did not pre-dice them. I want to show you too how to peel them. So when you get your green onion, you know, you have that skin. You want to peel that off. You don't want to use that. I'm going to get all that gone. Peel it back. And you want to get this. You see how the skin was slick there? You don't want to eat that. And then I, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take your tip off as well. So I've already cleaned and prepped all of our veggies. And we're going to dice these because we're going to use these later as we finish our dish once it's completely cooked. 
Okay, yes, I am a bit of a perfectionist when it comes down to just my green onions and the plating of it. And yes, guys, I left my scraper. Okay, and if you want a little more green onions, now you have it. Okie dokie. So, based on the shopping list, we have corn, the sweet corn, we have our bell red and green bell pepper, we have our red onions, we have our diced zucchini, we have our um, eggplant, we have our corn, and we have our green onions that we're going to use for finishing, and we have our seasoned um, uh, trumpet mushrooms and our hearts of palm. So technically, guys, we are ready. Now, initially, I mentioned to you we're going to uh, plate this and cook this dish with our signature kraviyaki sauce, which is a sweet and tangy, um, a little hint of a spice, just enough to kind of say good morning, to kind of wake you up, um, that we're going to put this all together. And you notice I've not added any, as we start to cook this, there's no additional salt because the flavor and the season of the rice will build with the spices and the natural flavors that's in the vegetables and the sweet corn, along with our um, kraviyaki sauce. So now we're going to step to the stove and we're going to begin our cooking process. You guys ready? You ready? Okie dokie. Let's make it happen. Hey guys, so we're going to double dutch our cooking together because remember, we're cooking a fast, delicious vegan meal, something that can be done within 10 to 15 minutes. So we add our burner, so we have both pans, we'll be going in here shortly. So we have, um, I gave you the oil on your list, so we're just gonna add a small amount because again, this is heart healthy, I gave you olive oil. I'm gonna get this all around in our pan. Alrighty, we're gonna do the same thing for the pan for our for our, um, for our protein. So we're going to add now our bell pepper and our onion because we want them to begin to saute down. And forgive me here. All right, so we're gonna get those in and let them begin to saute down before we add our corn. And our babies. All right. We'll control our temperature. Let those saute well. And then we're gonna start. We're gonna add in our protein while those are going that way. We're gonna get our hearts of palm in at the same time while we have our trumpet mushrooms going. Okay, so while those are cooking, our mushrooms, don't want to overcrowd them too much. Okay. Now, so we want our veggies to be al dente. We do not want to overcook our vegetables because then they're all mushy and then they're weird. We don't want that. Okay, so we're gonna get in here our zucchini, our eggplant, uh-oh, ignore that mess. There's a tray underneath there that we'll pull out so we can probably clean there. If only you can smell the aroma. And now we're gonna add our sweet corn. So, if you don't like corn and you wanna add carrots or you wanted to add um, some bok choy, or some any additional veggies that you want, you can, because guess what? No one can tell you how to fix your, eat your veggies. This purpose is to show you how to combine a lot of different vegetables, have all these beautiful colors, um, and how it all works hand in hand and works together. So we are gonna add some of our spice. We're gonna add some, not salt, but we are gonna add some of our seasoning, some of our spice that we have to this. If only you guys could smell it. It smells absolutely amazing. And now over here, we're gonna flip over our mushrooms and our hearts of palm as they are cooking. 
Okay, this little baby tongue is going out. All right, so now they're browning on each side. Because next we're going to add some oil, but we don't, not oil, we're going to add our sauce. We don't want to add it right now because there is a bit of sugar and we don't want it to burn, but we want it to caramelize at the end. So we want our vegetables to cook as much as possible at this point and brown nicely. So once we add that oil, um, I keep saying oil, I mean the uh, sauce, we'll have a nice caramelization. Now with our veggies here, they're cooking down perfectly. Our onions are uh, translucent, so they're still cooking and they're tender, but they're not mushy and it's not gonna be um, overcooked and un uh, overdone, which that's what we don't want. We want our vegetables to have a bite to them because we're, that way you know we've not lost all of our nutrients in them. But again, we're gonna control our part, control our temperature. And there you go. So while this is cooking, so while we're cooking, as you can see that, how they're coming along really nice and they're browning very well, as well as our vegetables. Let's flip them one more time because remember guys, so they're vegetables, it doesn't take long to cook. Okay, it's not meat, thank goodness, because we don't need that. Of course the vegan's gonna say that, we don't need the meat. You can get all of your protein and all of your vitamins right here out of plants your body's happy the earth is happy life is good and you'll feel well and you'll say oh my gosh they're right nothing tastes as great as i feel so i can definitely enjoy this vegan lifestyle so now we're going to add some of our sauce so all that comes in together because it's all about the sauce, right? And same here. And so our vegetables, guys, is done. This is completely done. Now we're gonna turn that off because now um, just the natural heat of it it will continue to simmer down just a little bit more, but again, we don't want to overcook our vegetables. Our onions are nice and translucent. We've not lost any of our nutrition from our food and our protein and our mushrooms are now simmering still and our hot to palm in our sauce and in the seasonings. And I'll let that caramelize just a little bit more. And while that is caramelizing, we're gonna check our rice. This. So now our vegetables have completely cooked. Sitting there waiting for us to enjoy them, as well as our mushrooms and our heart to palm as well. They're simmering nice. And our oils, our spices, and our sauce. Okay, so now at this point, we are ready to plate our meal. Um, your rice should be just about finished cooking. Um, I should have put the temperature up to 450 versus 425 for my rice. It is not quite done yet, but your rice is a smaller portion. It should be nice and ready to go ahead and be plated to plate our meal. So we're going to move back over this way in just a moment so we can plate our meal. Hey guys, so I'm about to pull the rice out of the oven. Everything is now ready and we're getting ready to plate our meal so we can have something yummy to eat. We have a large pan of rice. And remove the lobster claws. So now our rice is completely cooked. It's nice and hot. I'm gonna slide this over to our plate. And so I'm just gonna fluff it. And guys, when you pull your rice out, of course you have no water in it. It's <laughs> completely done, through and through. So if your oven's on 425, it may take 45 minutes. If you put your oven on 450 or 500, it may take 25, 30 minutes. Um, adjust and check it according to your oven. If you see water, pat it back out and smooth it, put it back in. But now it's nice and done. And we're fluffing it. You see that steam? You can smell the aroma. So yummy. So I'm gonna measure out one cup of rice and just measure that out and we're gonna plate that. Ah, come out, perfect. We're gonna plate out our one cup of rice. 
going to slide this out of the way because it's hot and hot things burn. Um, we're just going to smooth this out. Why? Because we're at home and we're eating and you see that yummy deliciousness. It's full of flavor, it's seasoned, it's good for and healthy for our heart. So now we're going to plate our vegetable medley. And now we have all of our delicious veggies. And see, they're still full of color. Our onions are translucent, so they have cooked down. We have all of our flavors. And now we're gonna take our protein. We have our mushroom. And we have our hearts of palm. So our meal, we have the vitamins and nutrition that our body needs today. We're fighting, you know, we have, we're fighting, and it's full of antioxidants, our vitamin D, A, and our um, protein. And everything that we need. It's gonna taste amazingly delicious and you're gonna be full and better for it. Oh, how could you let me forget the green onions? Oh my gosh, we're at the top of the green onions. So now, just an add for garnishment, we're gonna not use that piece. We're gonna top this with green onions, and if you're like me, and you love sauce, we're not gonna take our sauce bottle. And we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of, a little bit of sauce, just a little more because it's all about the sauce. And now your meal is ready. Thank you guys for trusting me today for this heart healthy vegan meal. I'm gonna taste this with you, and yes, I'm holding a plastic fork. Why? Because that's what happens when you forget your real nice stainless steel fork. Um, so we're gonna go in together and we're gonna try this. You ready? I'm gonna get my glasses just so I can get a sample and a bit of everything. It's hot, hot things burn. Let's see here. You're gonna come in together, you ready? One, two, three. You know that's good. You know that's yummy. You know you could do that. You know that was good. Ignore the fork. That was really yummy. Come to the restaurant. Perhaps this will be a chef special in a week or two that you guys can actually get here and let me prepare it for you. We're located in the Orange Park Mall Food Court, 1910 Wells Road. We're open Monday through Saturday, 11 to 7, closed every Sunday. Please go to our website, uh, CraveVegan.com, to get the schedule for the food truck when it's in a location near you. Follow us across social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We want to we feed you. Come let us love on you. We are Crave Vegan, where food is love. Bye-bye.